<laughs> okay, that one's actually funny. Wait, wait. Okay, that is the funny. Wait, what? I love this guy. That was so good. I'm saying it. I'm bored of this article of de influencing. Except for the real de influencers that the liberal media don't want you to see. That's right. I'm talking about Bud Light, baby. Let me tell you what Bud Light did. Bud Light did, okay? No, Anheuser, InBev, Bush. I don't want to hear none of that. They, they might be a Belgian brand or whatever the fuck, some kind of European brand that bought my American beverage that tastes like piss. That's not what was frustrating for me. What was frustrating for me, for the piss wasser, was that they worked with a trans content creator. That's right. Dylan Mulvaney is what her name is. You understand me? They have betrayed the working class that wants to drink piss water. Let's take a look at what the fuck they were going on about. Ross outside. Hold hey, on. Budweiser. I've been drinking your beer for probably 35 plus years. Not anymore. <laughs> Y'all screwed up. Hey, Budweiser. Fucking Marat. I've been drinking your beer for probably 35 plus years. Not anymore. <laughs> Y'all screwed up. Wait, I don't get it. He's drinking Coors now? Wait. No. No. No, not Coors, dude. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Murat? I can't even fucking pay attention because Murat is literally... He's literally just like a menace. He opens the front door. He opens the fucking back door. I don't know what to do here. Fucking guy, bro. Like walking through this. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyway, LGBTQ media advocacy group organization Glad describes Coors among the most progressive for his employees towards uh, employee policies towards the gays and has been advertising in gay publications in the 1980s. The irony is that like all of these, all of these fucking brands have always been advocating for yeah they do like pride parades and shit they've literally been pro-gay for a lot longer than even uh you know many other companies have like it makes no goddamn sense i don't think words are really necessary about what's happening right now. But for Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light, all Bud products, if you know me, you know how many of these get refilled in my fridge every week. Look at this fucking counter, dude. This is all, first of all, this is the working class in the United States of America, brother. You know what I'm saying? This is who is like the real working class. This is literally all HVAC guys, okay? HVAC business owner, small business owner, hiring undocumented immigrants, one million percent. Talking about fucking building a wall, alcoholic with a McMansion, okay? The ugliest countertops. Oh my God. It's just all HVAC and, and landscaping business owners. All fucking LARPing like they're, you know, working class Andes, you know, real exactly beer. Exactly what's going on with Anheuser Busch right now. They're celebrating 365 days of girlhood, and they sent this transgender activist, Dylan Mulvaney, uh, packs of beer, cases of beer with his face on it, his, her, slash, she, it, whatever, saying that it would help wow, them he's, authentically he's so connect with their audience. <laughs> Sadly, I don't know if they knew who their audience was, but so the two major beers. He, he's so woke. Also, what is that cut to just do a hee-hee? 
Bro, everybody wants to be a fucking content creator so goddamn bad. It's, it's mind boggling. It's like, hee <laughs> hee. Sadly, I don't know if they knew who their audience was, but so the two major beers would be Budweiser and Bud Light, which are both owned by that company, Anheuser Busch. Stella, owned by Anheuser Busch. Modelo, owned by them. Good old Rona, owned by them. Listen up, ladies. Nick Ultra is also owned by them. Land Sharks, mediocre at best, but still owned by them. Along with a slew I've never heard of. Coming up, some better ones that are not owned by them, which I will be switching to. Also just want to dedicate this video to my long years of drinking Bush Light. I am extremely saddened to pronounce that I will no longer be participating in drinking of this beverage. Thanks to some things that have came up, but thank you to all the good beer that you have provided me with, and let's get on with this. Coors is almost as good anyway, so probably switching over to that one. Drink me. Listen, he hasn't done voice training yet. Don't make fun of him like that. Miller, folks. If you want something that puts hair on your chest, drink Blue Moon. It's also not owned by them. Or if you want some serious bush on your chest, drink Yingling Lager. Drink Heineken. Also not owned by Anheuser-Busch. Neither is Dos Equis. Coming in hot here, we got the PBR. Classic. Also not owned by them. So drink up, folks. Dude, this is literally the other side of like people being like, let's boycott this brand. Let's boycott th that brand. Like, Liberals do this shit all the fucking time. And they get mad about it, except half the fucking times, half the time it's like, you know, over at least like a real issue. It's just that the boycott is like stupid as far as movements goes. This one makes it doubly dumb because like one, none of these brands give a fuck about gay people, trans people, whatever the fuck. Anheuser-Busch literally dumps absolute major loads into right-wing politicians in this fucking country, like significantly more than they even due to left-wing politicians. That's number one. Number two, you're getting mad about a beer, dumbass. You're getting mad and trying to stop yourself from drinking one kind of piss beer and drinking the other kind of piss beer instead. The justification I've been seeing online is bringing up the boycott of Harry Potter. I mean, go ahead. The boycott of Harry Potter didn't fucking worry. It was dumb as shit from the jump. Even if the idea behind it is understandable even if they are on the right side of the moral conversation the boycott was a fucking stupid silly dumb movement that didn't take off and again this is not going to either on top of that though even though you fucking uh no one wants to recognize that uh these kinds of uh decentralized boycott movements are like idiotic and and uh worthless and doesn't work and all this shit you're not even on the right side of history on it when you're uh, crying about budweiser yeah every single one of these fucking brewsters every single one of these brewers have always and and for a very long time regardless of what they fucking donate for by the way regardless of who they donate to have always done marketing campaigns to target every single demographic including you know, gay people and trans people. It's so dumb. Oh, but I love it. Anheuser-Busch. What were you guys thinking? Well, who thought that would be a good idea? Do you realize when people sit down to have a beer, they're having a beer with their friends. If they're their friends. But lot done. Messed up. Do you have any idea what you've done? Bro, if you see, like, a trans person or a black person or a woman on the side of a fucking can and you lose, or a gay person on the side of a fucking can and you lose your shit like this, you are not made it. You are not cut out to make it in this world. Like, and by that, I mean, you're going to fucking die, dude. You're going to perish. You're too sensitive, brother. You're on the verge of tears because they did a marketing campaign. Like, not even like a regular one, but just a one-off. <coughs> All these fucking drama perverts, dude. They are such... They are so dramatic. Like, ay ay ay. Absolutely losing my mind over the prospect of Bud Light showing a trans woman on the side of a fucking can. They don't care if they're transgender. They don't care if they're black or 
seems like you care that they're transgender, though, which is weird. Or if they're white, Chinese, straight, gay, whatever, they don't care. They're there to have a beer with their friends. They don't need to be reminded about equity, equality, LBGTQ, whatever. They're there. In a way, I get it. Imagine the left-wing reaction would be similar if Budweiser put Matt Walsh or whatever on their can. The difference being Dylan Mulvaney never did anything but exist. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? Like what? You think Budweiser is going to put Matt Walsh on the side of their can to like fucking hyper fixate and, and, and triangulate on the, uh, you know, trans, the, the anti-trans pervert category? Like you think that's what they want to do? Like one is a person who exists and isn't doing anything. Like literally the, the least offensive content creator, they're just trans. That's it. They're just trans. So everybody fucking donks on them. Like, it's just so dumb. The other person is, like, actively cutting anti-trans propaganda. Trying to get people to go out and do stochastic terror to trans people. I love how you did the voice quiver. Yeah, I mean, he, he did that. there to have a good time. And now because you did this, you've ruined it. You've ruined their good time. They've got to be reminded of this wokeness and equality and all that. And what the worst part is... You put the person on a beer can right after a transgender male just shot up a school and killed three kids. I love when, like, they, like, he's he's trying to misgender the trans person and then, like, accidentally ends up correctly gendering the trans person. Like, it, that's so funny. Like, you know he... You know he thinks it was a it was a trans woman that did the fucking shooting. Like there's no shot he thinks that a a trans man actually did the shooting. He unironically is correctly gendering the trans shooter while he's trying to misgender the trans shooter. It's so funny. Like obviously he's not a fucking ally. He's like crying about a a a, a trans woman being on the can on a Bud Light can. Shame on you. Six people were killed, and you're out here putting transgender people on your beer cans when this is already a volatile... It's, like, insane. Yeah. Shame on you for having a white man in your marketing campaigns after Dylan Roof. Shame on you. Like, dude, is there are there any other doors you won't open today? Yeah, what are you doing? You just keep going back and forth, opening every fucking door in the house? What's happening? Hella delivery coming in left and right. I'm like freaking the fuck out. Can't believe they put a WAP man on the can. Like no one would ever say that because like, obviously Dylan Roof is not the representative of all white men. You know what I mean? Oh, enough situation as it is. So, that being said, I hope you guys get what you think you deserve. Because all I see for you. Which is a refresh, refreshing beverage. You is a bunch of headaches and a bunch of bankruptcy on the way because the regular American out there... Yeah, dude, the fucking... The largest beer monopoly uh, is, is going bankrupt because of the trans person on the can, dude. Holy fuck. ...that doesn't care about all this crap and just wants to have a beer is out there looking for another beer without stuff like this on their beer can. Bro, you are... Again... I already responded to Matt Walsh on this, but like you are the most privileged, pathetic, woke, scold. You are literally out of control. The 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 privilege to be complaining about this is is unimaginable. You're crying about a marketing campaign. Holy fuck, dude! It's a fucking ad campaign. This is what I said to Matt Walsh when he wrote like an entire insane fucking. Like whole ass show more ass Twitter thread on this. The left has taken all their the left has taken away all their neutral cultural ground. This is why brands like Bud Light and Nike are giving endorsement deals to a dude in a dress. In the past, a beer company could basically be culturally neutral, but the left has declared that you are either with them or against them. The silence is violence principle. So when the brands have a choice, they can be baptized into wokeism and openly worship the LGBT altar. Or they can by default align themselves with conservatives. Like, dude, you are out of your fucking mind. Like you're writing a manifesto. It's an ad campaign. You're freaking out. About a fucking ad campaign. What happened to men? Not to pull a fucking Jordan Peterson, but I'm going to start crying about what has happened to men. 
Men used to stand for something. They used to die in wars. Okay? Now they write schizophrenic posts and like shooter manifestos because they saw a gay guy or a trans woman on a fucking beer can. They didn't even see Dylan on a beer can. By the way, it's not like Bud Light put uh, Dylan's face on every fucking uh, beer can. They sent her the one with her face on it. That's it. They just said that they were partnering with her. Not that it would matter. Not that it would even fucking matter if they put her on other, uh, you know, beer cans too. But like calling for death, Pog, I think you're calling what Matt Walsh is saying calling for death, right? You're not saying what I'm saying is calling for death. Saying like men used to stand for something. They used to die in wars and shit. Now they just fucking cry about trans people being on the side of beer cans that they don't even, that don't even exist on the side of one fucking beer can. Puppy tossed from a car during LA chase of attempted murder suspect. Please send me this video more, dude. Please. I don't think you sent it enough in the fucking chat. Like I literally, I need to watch a puppy being tossed from a car during an LA chase of the attempted murder suspect. Please show me. I need to see a puppy being tossed from a fucking car. Take 10 minutes off. The irony is crying about an ad campaign is so gay. Not even, dude. I mean, uh, like, I know, I know the joke is trying to make, but it's like, it's unima It's like way beyond. Like, you can't even go woke, go broke is the lamest right wing cope of all time. It's not even close to true. It should, but it isn't. By sheer numbers, we have the power to inflict severe financial damage on companies that spit in our faces, but we don't. The brands know that we don't. We're so behind in the culture war that nearly every company is woke now. We can't boycott them all, which is a fact conservatives use as an excuse to do nothing. This attitude infects the right. If we try to solve this problem, there will still be this other problem over here. So why bother at all? It's the loser's mantra. The, Matt Walsh is literally like, not to make, actually, I'm not going to do that. I was going to say, Matt Walsh is like posting like uh, someone, one of my chatters after I said the Hogwarts legacy boycott is idiotic, but no, Matt Walsh is a gigantic piece of shit who uh, deserves all the bad things. So I'm not even going to use that as a talking point or as a joke, but he is coping like a SJW here. Okay. <laughs> Matt camp. <laughs> True. Matt Walsh is basically admitting he's a useless, he's useless and a fringe lunatic who will set up the GOP to keep losing elections if they listen to him. Here's what we should do. Pick a victim, gang up on it, and make an example of it. We can't boycott every woke company or even most of them, but we can pick one. It hardly matters which, and target with a ruthless boycott campaign. Claim one scalp and then move on to the next. The problem is that many conservatives don't have the stomach or attention span for this. Yeah, dude, because it's stupid. And it won't fucking work. And our political leaders are almost completely useless. There's a way to re win real victories. We just need a little grit and a little follow through. Okay. So when left wing people fucking complain about this and like try to do boycott campaigns, they're trying to do it because of some like material reality. You know what I mean? Like Walmart is like throwing up a fucking black fist, but then simultaneously giving a, or buying cops new cruisers and shit to better and more effectively brutalize black people. Okay. And then people recognize the powerless, uh, the, the powerlessness that they face uh, when, you know, the actual uh, gig incredibly powerful multinational corporations are, uh, you know, doing whatever the fuck they want while doing a little bit of marketing on the side. Matt Walsh is doing this because Bud Light did an influencer campaign with one trans woman. Absolutely fucking bananas, dude. Like... There's no legitimate purpose behind this. He's just like upset that they that Bud Light recognized and acknowledged the existence of one trans woman. I cannot begin to make fun of this and describe to you how fucking pathetic these people are. And it's a company that has given a shitload more money to conservative causes. So Good luck to you. If I ever drink a beer again, it won't ever be Anheuser Busch. I can guarantee you that. It won't be a Bud Light or a Bush Light. Uh, I'll drink a freaking. 
Like, what do you think? What do you think would be better for Matt Walsh? Do you think he would be? Do you think he'd prefer it if Bud Light like put the F slur on the side of a can, but then was dumping so much fucking capital into left wing causes and like legitimately advocating for the emancipation of like marginalized communities? Do you think that would be better for you? Maybe that's all he wants. He wants you to be able to say, he wants Bud Light to be like, <laughs> F words need not apply to drink our piss beer. You know what I mean? But then also simultaneously, like actually pass legislation on the back end by, by putting a shitload of money to, to ensure that trans people are protected. Is that what you want? Because that's the reverse of the situation. It's so dumb. It's all aesthetics. That's it. There is no real agenda here. And even when liberals do it, they're doing it in a feckless way. But when Republicans do it, or when a fucking fascist like Matt Walsh does it, he's doing it for, like, the most petty thing on the planet. Um, I think I'll drink a Cobra before I drink Anheuser-Busch, as long as Cobra doesn't make, or Anheuser-Busch doesn't make Cobra. And I hate Cobra. That's malt liquor. Ugh. But you sent me there. You did it. You did this to me. American heroes. Today we salute you. I think one of the funniest parts about this is that they're like, just posting their L's on the timeline because, like, again, they're just openly recognizing that they drink the shittiest fucking beer. Okay? Especially because they keep posting Bud Light. Like, every now and then I'll have a Bud Heavy. Okay? But, like, you are not going to catch me on the timeline being like, I used to love drinking Bud Light. Like, it's so bad. It, it's just so bad. It's so stupid. Former Budweiser drinkers of America. Together, you've sworn to never drink another drop of Bud Light or any other beer from Anheuser-Busch. Ancient history. Sure, it might taste like piss from a hamster, but it gave us a cheap buzz. Oh. And a cheap buzz is exactly what we've needed over the last two years. You said it, brother. So while there might be a tear in your beer and a hole in your heart, Hold your heads high and know that today is a new day. And there's... Again, Coors Light is, like, pro-gay. It doesn't even fucking matter. To them, there's other though. beers in the sea. Do your goddamn dishes, Bobby. I guess I'm gonna <clears throat> drink it. At least it ain't got the rainbows on it. Oh. <laughs> okay, that one's actually funny. Wait, wait. Okay, that is the funny. Wait, what? Yo, that was fucking hilarious, dude. Yo, that was. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, I love. Okay, I love this guy. I love this guy. That was so good. We got to run it I back. I bought it. I guess I'm going to drink it. At least it ain't got the rainbows on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm low IQ. This right here seems like. Hmm, speaks for itself. Wait, what? This right here seems like. Hmm, speaks for itself. The fuck i don't even know why he put the second part of that but i, I love him you bitch. it's texas it. troll it yeah you broke my heart fuck your friends oh my god beach bad and Hell yeah, brother. Have you ever been fucked, fucked, fucked by a country boy ram, ram, What? What is the song, dude? Have you ever been fucked by a country boy? Frank, at least it ain't got the rainbows on it. It's just like crazy how much country music uh, it talks about drinking beers. <laughs> I just realized, like... We haven't heard the same song twice, okay? 
it's kind of mind boggling that like, what is that? Like 99% of their fucking music is just like about drinking, drinking brews. What the fuck? Cold beer on a Friday night. Pair of jeans that fit just right. What is this? Because that's literally all there is to do in the country is sit in the, sit on the dirt ground tr- drinking cheap beer because you live in utter poverty. I know, but like, like I get that shit. First of all, these country music stars are, you know, just LARPing for the most part. But like, um, but like, why get fucking mad about the piss beer that you're drinking? Also, half of these motherfuckers are not sitting on the dirt at all. I mean, this guy might be, but like, there's plenty of fucking small business owners we've seen that are like, oh, hell, what the fuck? I can't believe. I cannot believe they're fucking, you know. <laughs> Bud Light had a trans person on their, on their beer. I'm fucking mad. What was it? This country, this song isn't country. It's Hailstrom, bro. This sounds like country music to me. I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck you're talking. Nothing lasts. So when they just said hip pop, and I agree. I'll be honest with you anyway, Bud Light. I never liked your ass anyway. Damn, they got Santa Claus on this shit too. What the fuck? You hate to see it, folks. 9-11 ruined country music. Yeah. Country music, like, not to, not to overemphasize this point. I mean, obviously, there was still always, like, dog shit country, too. But, like, bluegrass and country music originally comes from, like, indigenous uh, defense, uh, uh, you know, prison system being dog shit. Like, you know, uh, it, it, working class roots. And now it's just like, yee, yee, I want to fuck my tractor, okay? It's all that kind of shit. <laughs> I want to fuck my tractor, but the government nanny state tells me I can't. That's, that's what country music has turned into. These guys love acting so much, they just need the right theater camp to take them in. Yeah. TikTok. Is literally what you said. I think the prison industrial complex is pretty bad. And the fact they target poor blacks and poor whites is pretty sad. And if we let this continue, it will be pretty bad. And that's why I'm having a concert in the prison. Swing your cousin round and round. If they're hot, dick them down. Okay, but some old country music is still full of men wanting to kill women for not liking them, lol. That's why I said, like, listen, that's a universal value, okay? Like, there is no point in time where you can go back to where, like, women were being protect, women were being treated with fucking respect, okay? Like, like, for example, so you hate waffles. Yeah, exactly. Someone had to jump on, even though I did the thing, where I accounted for, like, not all country music was like this. Someone had to jump on and tell me, oh, yeah, you know what, though? They still want to fucking kill women. Yeah, I know, man. I know. I know. I fucking know, dude. Fuck me. Oh, Anomalous Daniel, thank you for the five gifted subs. There were plenty of societies that were better off with women's women's rights in history, although they weren't perfect. What? Oh, my God. I can't even shit on fucking conservatives without someone being like, listen, actually, there was a point in time when country music was all still pretty bad. Oh, my God. I'm going to bring a whole new sentence into this conversation what? that you didn't fucking say. As a matter of fact, you knew I was going to be a smarmy little shit in the chat. So you actually accounted for it, but I didn't hear that part. So I'm going to do that anyway. Um. Well, hello, TikTok. How y'all doing, Seth, man? So, this is how my day started. Got up for work. 3.30 a.m. Went to work. Started a good day. And found out. Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch, is changing my damn can to rainbow stars and pinks and stripes and ponies and what the fuck ever. Don't care. Don't care. Got a dude in a dress. Instead of having somebody like one of us, blue collar people, somebody, a nurse, actual fucking girl, 
be on the can. Nope. Why didn't they put one of us on the can? It's like, first of all, they didn't put Dylan Mulvaney on any of the cans, man. Like, you never saw this. Someone told you that someone told you that that's what's going on, and that you just got mad. Don't act like you don't care either. You just made a fucking TikTok. You clearly care. That shit on the can. Well, you ain't getting my money no more. Boycott it. Boycott it. Boycott it. And to top it off, they did this after the Nashville school shooting. That you done know what that person did in that school to those little kids and the uh, adults. No. That's not cool, uh, Budweiser. That's not really not cool. Not at all. So, uh, you ain't getting my hard work money. You ain't getting no blue collar money. Uh, from what I see, you ain't getting nobody's money no more. Y'all gonna go broke. You ain't getting nothing. Get out of here. Right here. That's all I'm gonna drink. It's always the funniest part that they switch, the switch up the cores is so funny. Right now, I ain't buying it. Can't have it. Don't want it in my house. I'll throw the shit away. Somebody brings it over here. It's gonna go in the bonfire. Just don't want it. Don't even wanna look at it. I hope all the stores here in Tennessee take that shit out. <laughs> so, we just don't want it. Bye. Listen, brother, I know I've been talking about how Bud Light is, is piss water, but if there's one fucking beer that's worse than Bud, Bud Light is Coors Light. So... Have fun drinking the only other beer that's even shittier than fucking Bud Light. So it's truly saddening that with the woke Anheuser-Busch Bud Light situation, come to do a little research and find out that my favorite beer is under the Anheuser-Busch umbrella. And one of the Ooh, we love a man with fancy taste. Ones I drink besides Bud Light. So, cheers. <laughs> See ya. No you more Anheuser Bush products yeah. in this house. Nope. Want to play no, the whole game? Done. Okay, that T-shirt is fire, though. I would love, I would love to find out which Walmart he got that from. King, protect America with wolves in front of a fucking American flag. I love that. Um, I spent my money on it. Peace out, Sam Adams. I'm back at you, buddy. Corona. She ended it by saying Corona, which is also owned by Bud, uh, Anheuser. Well, Anheuser. check this out. Why is, she, why is this? It's Prodigy. Oh, my God. Is that Firestarter that she's playing? She's bumping Firestarter on her fucking twisted Firestarter. No, it ain't. Oh, no. Well, I'll never drink a Budweiser product again. That's for sure. And that's using my beer of choice whenever I go to the beach or go to a bonfire or hang out with my friends. Not anymore. Let's boycott Budweiser. You are white? Bro, this is like some old ass fucking, uh, yeah, this is some like 2000 era. This is the shit that I was listening to when I was, when I was young. 1997. They show him who's really got the power. The power of the purse. Just to celebrate Dylan Mahoney, whatever his name is, being a woman for 365 days. I can't even pay attention to anything she's saying with Prodigy playing in the background and then me thinking that, wasn't it banned? Was that a meme or was it actually banned in the UK because uh, it was causing car crashes and fatalities? I never looked into that. It could have been like one of those things that people just like repeat. Let me see. It's like one of those urban legends. Yeah. Yeah. Dance Act the Prodigy. The single was banned by the UK's BBC network, which refused to show the sex and drug filled video or play the song as a part of chat rundowns. So it wasn't for like, it wasn't for, um, uh, what do you call it? It wasn't because like people were driving fast, but like that was something that people just made up. But, like, it was actually banned. It's now been voted ahead of Sex Pistols' God Save the Queen and Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. 
Wrong song that would smack my bitch up though, but yeah. That wasn't Firestarter though. Okay, guys, I don't care. I, I, I'm not like... <clears throat> it was Breathe. I, I, like, I, yeah, I, I got it wrong. I, I'm just not, you know, I'm not very good with the fact that I even called it, uh, uh, prodigy immediately is good enough. You know, wrong equals, I don't care. No, like, I'm just telling you why I'm wrong. I am. I've never been like a music knower. You know what I mean? I called it. But like, you know, this is your moment to listen, not speak. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fucking own. Oh. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I I should sit my white ass down and listen. Alan Mulvaney on his 365 day of being a woman. And I'm jealous. Like day 14,000 of being a woman and I what is this like Disney movie ass like rom-com ass fucking score on this video dude holy shit I am let me tell you a heavy bush light drinker and I've never been once asked to sponsor them or been sent to be yeah like they sent the like they didn't send this to your house man you, nobody saw this doesn't know music always judges content music immediately. It's that mischievous penis music. True. I would categorize this as vagina music, though. It's more so like the type of shit you see in like a rom-com where the aloof male protagonist is like doing something kind of stupid. Like he's like hiding the Christmas presents or something. You know what I mean? It is mischievous, though. Like I got really mad this weekend. Bud Light decided to sponsor Dylan Mulvaney on his 365 day of being a woman. And I'm jealous. Like, Yeah, he's being a goof and he's being mischievous, okay? The himbo, the himbo character is being mischievous. And, like, the female main character is about to walk in on him and truly misunderstand what's going on. You know what I mean? But in a funny way. It's day 14,000 of being a woman, and I am, let me tell you, a heavy bush light drinker, and I've never been once. One of my favorite things is, like, everyone keeps fucking saying how much they love drinking beer. Like, they just absolutely love it. They love, they're like, oh my god, I love, I love drinking beer. I'm a heavy drinker, okay? Like, you don't understand. I get the shakes when I don't get my Bud Light. <laughs> Like, got it. Okay, sick. <laughs> Seems like a problem. <laughs> Maybe you should just stop. <laughs> if you thought about stopping. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's asked to sponsor them or been sent to be. But the funny thing is, is I'm here to say thank you. Thank you, Anheuser-Busch, and thank you, Dylan. You are going to save me so much money. I Thank you, because I'm not going to drink your beer anymore. Yeah, I'm cured of my alcoholism. Thank you. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just completely done. Done with beer in general. Bronzia box wine only for me going forward. Okay, you don't understand. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, these used to be my favorite hat. <laughs> oh, this one's I used sad. To love this hat. That's so sad. This one is sad. Oh, God. She pulled up the hat, said this was her favorite hat. This is what happens when you have no culture, nothing, okay? You have nothing. So you, like, associate with the products that you consume. And it becomes, like, a deeply personal, almost religious experience. You know what I mean? It's like, this is my hat. It's my favorite one. How could the woke left do this to her? 
No, don't do it, Barbara. She can't cut that one. That one's going to be too tight. Damn, that's a solid ass scissor. What the fuck? That is a surprisingly it's a piece of garbage. Think of the memories I had with that hat. Koozie? My favorite koozie. You think she actually sharpened it before she could do this in one take? Doing scissors? Another one? No, Barbara, no. Not the second koozie, Barbara. Not anymore. We're done, Bud Light. We are done. No. Big time. That's and a tomorrow, <laughs> this is a divorce that Barbara did not like. I will go in my cabinet and I will find all my Bud Light glasses and they are getting broken. We are done. You lost this this person's loyalty. I guess that you were a crappy drink, shitty drink all along. <laughs> Anheuser Busch. This is the last beer in my fridge. I won't touch another one from you all again. It'll either be coolers, Miller. You think he drank a bunch of it before he dumped it because he was like, you know, I paid for it. <laughs> you know he drank it. He's like shaking. <laughs> it's my last one. Drank all, drank the 30 rack. Okay. Well, 29 rack if you want to be literal about it. <laughs> I'm fucking plastered. You know I'm about to get in my Chevy and drive over to the liquor store. To buy me some Coors Light. That's the best kind of driving. <laughs> Just polished off a 30 rack. Time to get a new one. Miller, doesn't matter. I'll quit drinking. I won't touch your shit again. I'm sitting there putting a damn chick with a dick on your cans. Sorry. I think any of these guys drink a shitload that made a pass on their friend and then blame the gay juice. Damn, man, I don't know what came over me, man. <laughs> Suddenly your penis look awfully desirable. Must be the must be the homosexual juices I I consume from Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, sorry, brother. Let me suck one off real quick. <laughs> So I don't have much of a tolerance for alcohol. So when I drink, I normally drink this because you know, it's pretty much water. But now I see Bud Light, Budweiser, and sponsoring somebody I disagree with. Disagree with what, Dylan Mulvaney? Why? <laughs> like, what has she said that you disagree with? Nope, just because she trains, I don't like it. Bro, by the way, speaking of MILF Hunter, and M. Hood was talking about it, that is the MILF Hunter. This man is getting the most Barbussy, okay? There is not a single Barbara in the vicinity he hasn't fucked yet, okay? Look at that. He does way, he works out way too much not to be, not to be absolutely shredding through all the Barbussy. Buying metal bottles for home. Okay, officer. Cops hate having glass in the home because they throw them at the walls in arguments. <laughs> oh, no. You clocked him as a cop. So this. I kind of want to see if he's right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What is it? John Paul 598. Every time you come every at 360 on my live stream, I'm going to do a 360. Every time you come at 360 on my John Paul 598. Big boy, sexy wife. What the fuck? Oh, these guys are 
Definitely swingers. Oh, you know. I already probably have pics of them. Bro, this is a swinger family, 100%. gotta be a cop oh my god that is the absolute worst form i've ever seen on a bent over single arm dumbbell row what the fuck brother you 52 your spine is about to get fucking melted homie what are you doing oh no dude he's just leaning over dude what the fuck hashtag bad to the bone hashtag old I think that was a younger. He put a little bit of a younger video in there too. Those are dusty thirty-pound garage weights. He doesn't know for him. I mean, they're having a lot of fun. I don't know if he's a cop, but wait, what? Hey guys. So for the past couple of days, the mainstream media has been reporting that the blank probably, most likely, eh, yeah, probably did come from a leak from the big C. Why are they doing this now after two years? The majority of us are have known this, right? I mean, it's been common sense. It, it, anybody with common sense knew this. So ask yourself, why are they now openly stating this? Is it because the big C? American guy. Feel in love with a Thai, with a Thai lady. Our journey dealing with the K one visa travel ban, COVID, and screwed up government policy. Po Police is big C is China, brother. Yeah, libertarian guys with Asian wives, baby. He has videos about TRT on his YouTube channel. Okay, maybe he's not a cop, but he he is giving cop. I kind of love this guy a little bit, though, to be honest. He's supporting the big R and we're supporting the big U and they're foreseeing that this is all going to lead to the big W. You know, I'm 52 years old. It's going to destroy me economically, but I'm not going to go over there and lose my life to it. So if you're a young person that has that big U flag, they're coming for you because you're the one going to be going over there. Not me. Wising up people. We got to stop this. How is Ukraine the big U and not the U.S.? I think he said the U.S. is big dub. All right, so I'm hearing that they're getting ready to bring Donald Trump up on charges. Oh, big W is World jury. War? They just oh. convened. All right, so I have to say this first. Okay, it's not my fault. Like, he didn't really make anything clear. The, the whole, like, letter thing is very confusing, okay? He's very baby girl. He does have a little bit of a baby girlness to him, for sure. I do not. If he knew, like, of course, if he knew, like, some, like, a community full of, like, queer leftist teenagers were calling him baby girls, mine would melt, probably, but. <laughs> I did not like Donald Trump. I did not like listening to him talk. I muted him every time he came on TV, just like I did Obama. Didn't like his tweets when he was tweeting. But I loved the way he governed. Okay, my 401k, my retirement plan, I made more money under Donald Trump than I've ever made. Period. But listen closely. TikTok is great because, like, I get banned regularly, but then, like, there's a TikTok account called Dead Blacks More Please. You know what I mean? And, like... That's just like an active account, and they're not getting banned anytime soon. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. Thanks. Thanks, TikTok. Great moderation on the app. Great moderation on the platform. Sick, dude. I will never believe what they say in the media or the politicians. Never believe them about Donald Trump. After seven years of what they did about the Russia Gate. Ukraine, 
all that bullshit. If they had had anything on him, he would be under the prison right now. I think it's all lies. They have destroyed any confidence. Okay, I can't figure out if he's a cop or not. Maybe like a defense contractor or something. He's a conservative who loves his woman, okay? No more. See you, bud. Bro, they literally have like Gaytheon pride parade uh, vessels. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, you can't stop it, man. Like, why the fuck does Raytheon care about, you know, being pro-gay? Like, you, you just, just give it up. It doesn't impact their life anyway. It's all gay. I don't support the U.S. shooting Scud missiles anymore because Gaytheon supported the queers. Hell yeah, brother. I like my bombs not gay. Gaytheon yassified the Iraqi civilians with them gay bombs. And like, none of these companies give a shit, right? It's just all aesthetics. And... I feel like these guys care about it more than, uh, ultimately, these guys care about it more than, like, gay people do, you know? It's just so fucking stupid. Remember when Going Green started becoming money-making way back and they were dying too? I don't understand. Are they mad at these companies that have gay employees or are they just mad at gays in general? I think they're just mad. And someone told them they should be mad at this instead of mad at the actual things that matter. So they're just mad, and they're using this as a vector for their anger. That's it. Material for weeks. I can do this all day. Roll the first one. Out. Oh, you can't take no more screaming. If you don't like it, there's a fucking door. Freedom we've been fighting for. Willing to fight. <laughs> You know, he's super proud of himself, too, that he spiked that box right on the thug. Uh, but it could just bought the culture war. I mean, yeah, that's it. It's manufactured outrage. Like, here's the thing. The outrage already exists. They're just, you know, they're just basically fucking guiding you to get mad at this shit instead. That's it. That's all this is. Couldn't help but notice in sport uh, that you drove over that beer with your Chevrolet pickup truck. You know, as long as you're throwing away things that you paid cash money for, uh, for supporting things you don't agree with, uh, that truck might be a problem. You'll run by a dealership. Good luck finding a manufacturer, though, uh, that hasn't participated. Next, we have this lovely couple. So it's truly saddening that with the woke Anheuser-Busch Bud Light situation, Come to do a little research and find out that my favorite beer is under the Anheuser-Busch umbrella. And one of the ones I drink besides Bud Light. So, cheers. I don't even think they're going to stop drinking Bud Light beers, by the way. That's the other thing. Like, like wasn't there another, uh, wasn't there anger towards Bud Light being sold off too? Like Budweiser, uh, it was sold to AB InBev. Like, what the fuck's going on? Isn't that wasn't that like a thing too? Anyway, it's just like idiotic. It's so dumb. <laughs> She's only nineteen years old. Uh, last little part you said there. Sam Adams, I'm back at you, buddy. Uh, you're Sam Adams, man. Now, are you? I mean, it. I'd say that this is prettier even than the Bud Light can. Sam Adams does taste good. So good on you. And then uh, I believe... I hate to hand it to him, but... Blushing bride there was starting to say something about Corona. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, uh, but the Bud Light brand has been acquired by AB InBev, which also owns Corona and Modelo beers. They are going to switch to Yingling. Total Chud does a Total Chud beer. Ugh, Yingling. <laughs> so, but it's especially funny that the majority of people doing this, their go-to switch is Coors Light. Hey Budweiser, I've been drinking your beer for probably 35 plus years. But Coors Light was out here, Light was out here supporting the LGBTQ plus community. 1978, the first brewer 
uh, to ban discrimination for sexual orientation. By 93, they actually had a group that was uh, specifically for employees who identified as LGBTQ, like a resource group for them. Probably the most prominent and proactive supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. So, uh, thank you. They were a real supporter. They'd be gifting subs at the top of the hour at the Hasanabe broadcast. That's the best way to support the gay community. Let's be real, brother. Here's a three-minute ad break now. They're going to start drinking water soon after they see this video. Yeah, they're going to be cured of their alcoholism because they realize that all these companies are, at least aesthetically, with the exception of, like, Coors Light, low-key Coors Light has done a lot, but uh, and, and a long-ass time ago. Um, Tart XO, thank you for the five get the subs. Like, you know, all these beers, uh, in, in some way, shape, or form, have actually, you know, defended uh, gay rights. Thank you for supporting a company that maybe does even more than Anheuser Busch does. We appreciate you. Just entertainment, no change will come from your stream unless you present options to counter the norm. No, you already nailed it, like, exactly. You know how those guys who are crying about fucking Bud Light being gay now are just making content, albeit to a much smaller audience? Like, that's kind of what I'm doing, too. You know, it's entertainment. What do you want me to do? Present options to counter what norm? I'm here to tell you that things are not what you think. Things are not exactly uh, the way you think they are. That's what I'm here to do, you know? Like, I have no counter to this. I'm just telling you that, like, these massive, these massive corporations don't actually have, like, a real, legitimate, genuine interest in, like, helping um, the LGBT community. And they are the ones who are juicers, Mata, Haz uh, juicers are Mata, Azan. Wait, what? Why? What happened? Am I catching strays again? They always mad at you? Yeah, usually.